Okay, so here we are at this cool place called the Nomadic Gardens, and we've got some Veggio bars, arguably one of the best vegan chocolates available. So we're going to go hand them out to people and see what they think about veganism generally. Let's go. Yeah, Connect. I can't kill. I can't kill. Yeah, no, I couldn't. No, no, no. That's not. That's not for me. Have you ever been to a slaughterhouse? No, I never. No, never. Yeah. Have you ever seen an animal be slaughtered? No, never. Yeah. Never. Maybe if I see that, I can change my mind, but until it's in the plate, you know, <laughs> to me it's still just yeah. good. Yeah, I understand because you only see food, you don't see the animal. Yeah, because I don't see the process. <laughs> so someone else kills them for you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. somebody else, somebody else kills them. So, what, so when you drink um, dairy, do you guys think of the cow at all? Or do you just look at the, like if you're going to eat a chocolate bar and it contained dairy, would you ever think of the cow or you just think of the chocolate bar? <laughs> Before I was a vegan, I didn't even realise that cows had to be pregnant to produce milk. I didn't realise that. I didn't no. know. I just thought there's a species of cow that produced milk by themselves when they ate grass. They have to be pregnant to have and have a calf to to produce milk. So they get them pregnant every what? Every every year. Every year. Every year, and then they um they you know. Of them so they take milk they from a lactating mother and they separate the calves from them so that we can drink the milk ourselves. Wow, that's horrible. Never yeah. thought about that way. Yeah. It's not really good. So it's like stolen baby's milk. <laughs> yeah, we might convert to soy. <laughs> you know, imagine being a human being pumped full of f***ing like, hormones and, yeah. and crap. Yeah. And it's just being force fed it, is pretty much. It's just, you're going to end up with um, a lot of ill animals that we're all eating and it's disgusting. They don't advertise it, do they? They don't actually show us the process, do they? No, they don't. We just get the products. Because they want to sell it to us, don't they? <laughs> of course they do. I wouldn't buy it if I knew this earlier. <laughs> Let's hope they do the vegan challenge. Let's keep going. Did you think if every time someone bought a piece of cheese or a piece of milk, they seen a cow be oh, slashed fuck, across yeah, the throat, the they problem. would stop? They would absolutely. They would stop. There would be a public outrage. Yeah. It would be like that's why it is like. Uh, in some forms like uh, slavery or whatever you want to call it, yeah, it because is. yeah, because it's just like it's it's, it's, it's taking their bodily it's treating, on, yeah. it's treating life uh, with so much disrespect. Yeah. Literally, yeah. they're like, being, you know. being raped. Cows are literally being raped. Honestly, I really don't like because I like animals, so I really yeah. don't like when I see violence against them. It's hard because when we pay for animal products, we are contributing to something that we're morally against. Yeah, I know, but if you think like that, we, we shouldn't even like go in a car because you eat like small animals, you, you're gonna kill them. <laughs> you can't be perfect, but does that mean we should contribute to animals being stabbed in the neck for a salami ah, no. that's easy to avoid? Would you agree? Some yeah. things we can't avoid, some things we yeah, can? Yeah, yeah. Some t yeah, but because there are some vegan people who think that everything can be avoided, but it's, no, that's not, it's true. not true. <laughs> everything has some type of harm associated with it, but a vegan tries to ex avoid it as much as they practically can. So I respect that, I respect yeah, that. Um, In the UK, this is what happens to animals, land of hope and glory. Okay, you can see the, the animals you're eating here because you live here. Watch that and tell me if you still feel like so strongly about the animal products that... Oh. Why not? Maybe we can try, it doesn't cost anything. You've got so a good heart, you're against animal cruelty. We can and try, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks brother, Pleasure, appreciate man. it man, no eh? Problem. Thank you. It's like, from where I was, Yeah. To where I am now, and it's only been a year, yeah, since I decided to go, to, yeah, yeah, to transition. And so, from where I was to where I am now, it's awesome. I'm vegan. Yeah, you're a vegan. Well, 99%. I'm, I'm yeah, te uh, technically me and him are the same. Yeah, the same. technically I, I'm I'm vegetarian. Vegetarian. 99% vegetarian. vegan. I'm pretty much there. The way I understand veganism is like. Um, so it's, it's like it's like okay, anti-racism, you know. Yeah. Like you're you're either against it or you're not. So veganism's like you're anti-animal exploitation. You're either against it or you're not. When you look at your diet, you could go, okay, it's 90% plant-based. So I'm 99% plant-based. But when you talk about veganism, it's like it's a philosophy. It's a principle. Yeah. So you can't be 90% of it, you know. Yeah, like okay. yeah, yeah. Because okay. that that would be like uh, I'm 90. 90% against domestic violence and that I'm other 10% of the time I'm, with you, there, I'm yeah. you know oh, I see. yeah so what about the motivation have you seen animals be butchered yes only only on the internet only yeah. n never actually directly with my physical eyes and I've got to that point in life I don't need to see it because I know it's horrific I know really? it's gonna sometimes it is good to remind yourself what's happening though to yeah. really oh, yeah. keep on that straight path and the vegan path vegan challenge 22 days can you do it yes 100% absolutely absolutely Wicked. Send me an email once yep. you've done it, and then after the vegan challenge, you're like, wow, that was pretty easy. I can be 100%, you know, adherent to my 
Okay, I'll do that. 100%. Boom. I'm going to drop you, you'll get an email and it will literally say 100%. 100%. 100%. 99%. 100%. <laughs> How are you going? And what was it for you that made the connection to go vegan? It's a cruelty-free reason, yeah. yeah, it's the main reason. It's, Ethics. If, if it's healthy, it's just the cherry on top of the yeah, cake, I yeah. think, right? Have you heard oh, of a vegan? Right. Here we go, nah, I don't think I, nah, I, don't think <laughs> I can cop this. No, nah, you can have that, you can have that anyway. No, no, I, don't know last one. This I don't know if I can cop the interview. Why, oh, what, 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 what's your, do you have a neg negative feelings about no, veganism? I don't, I don't really have anything, I just don't really like getting mad chats about garbage on my but, Sunday. About garbage? <laughs> on your Sunday? Mm. What, what do you usually do on a Sunday? I don't know, it's not. Not have to yeah. worry about this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I was just handing out that show, and like I was just talking about the dairy industry with I people. Yeah, I do. Yeah, 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 I don't like. I don't like. Uh, milk. I'm becoming one of them. Yeah, really? same. It's hard. I to, yeah, I like. I, I like oat milk. I like oat milk. I'm, I'm on board with that. I don't like the idea of the, the tits getting a little sucked off by these machines yeah, yeah, and shit. Yeah. Mm. yeah. yeah have you, have you ever heard yeah. this quote? Said, "You're not a baby cow, bro." What? what? Do you need I like breast milk. milk. Jerry, you not need breast milk, milk from a cow. You're not a baby cow, bro. It is not I am certainly not a baby cow, bro. Have you ever heard that? What if a cow was a dog? Yeah. What if a cow was a dog? We wouldn't drink like gorilla milk or elephant milk or you're right. Yeah. Rat milk. Exactly rat right. milk. Right. Um, not, yeah, no breast now. milk because like I, I was just talking yeah. to him about why he still breastfeeds as a full grown adult. It's hard <laughs> when did you stop breastfeeding? Um, I can't remember. It's six, you know, sixty two years ago probably. You know? <laughs> well, you're still drinking from a cow, aren't you? <laughs> so you let you, you technically mm. haven't. Well, that's a good point, actually. Yeah, yeah. You're a whiz, mate. You're a whiz. Yeah, um, yeah. You got a marker for the game. Yeah. I got the mic. Yeah, yeah. I'm a yeah, that veteran. That the shop and get some yeah, exactly. I'm a veteran. Oh, no. What's that? Come um, like the fucking documentary coming out about veganism. Yeah. That's Dominion. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Have man. you seen it? Yeah, I got to the chicken part and I couldn't fucking handle the. Dominion's shit, all man. Australia shit. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. I've seen a few. Yeah, I've seen a few. I've seen a few. I've seen a few. I've seen a few. Yeah, it was grim. Uh, it was grim. It was Dominion, grim. if you can sit down and watch that. No, you can't it's, sit down if, and if watch it's, that. If it sounds like what it sounds like, I don't think I can watch you that. You can't sit down and watch that. It, those industries only exist because of, you know, us, Consumed basically, because we're putting them in, into business. I think our generation is starting to realise. How old are you guys? Uh, 24. I'm 24? 23, yeah. 24, 23. Cool. How old am I? Yeah, millennium. Uh, 20, 52. 20. Veganism. <laughs> <laughs> Go vegan, look at me. <laughs> oh, fucking legend. <laughs> He's like, I don't want to be filmed, mate. <laughs> Next minute, getting a hilarious conversation about soy milk. Where did that come from? <laughs>